technological change is much bigger than the tech industry. It affects every business at every scale in every industry. We sent our cameras around our own neighborhood here in San Francisco to see this change in action. What we found was pretty sweet. Here's Corey. It looks like a tech startup, but look a little closer. This company isn't making apps, it's making chocolate. Chocolate, high quality, artfully refined, artisan chocolate. Cho is right in the neighborhood, right down the Embarcadero from our Bloomberg West studio. But the magic happens thousands of miles away in the jungles of Peru. The actual manufacture of chocolate begins on the farm right after they harvest. They literally chop open a, a pod, they take the beans out, and they ferment the beans on the spot. CEO Louis Rossetto isn't just the Cho CEO, he's a legend among the Digerati, the founder of Wired Magazine. Rossetto's always been an idea man, now he's putting those big technology ideas towards a manufacture of little chocolates. The meta picture here is about a small company being able to reach around the planet and have a real-time relationship with people on the edge of the jungle. Joe Chocolate is using cutting-edge technology in ways that small companies have never seen before, connecting the heart of the city to the depths of a Central American jungle in real time. Rosetto says the key is controlled fermentation. Improving fermentation is probably the single biggest thing you can do to get better quality chocolate. The technology is a hodgepodge of ingredients, Skype, instant messaging, and a new cloud-based software called Cropster. It's a database system where we're, in, we're able to connect with the farmer and share uh, sensory results uh, with the farmer. They're able to send us samples of their cocoa. We're able to process those into initial chocolate samples, taste them as a, as a, as a sensory group, and then provide feedback with them um, through this system. The result is specialized chocolate with refined cocoa flavor squeezed into every bite. The ease of communication with these farmers has, has really shown itself dramatically in, in a very short period of time in our chocolate quality. Cropster also tracks the variables that lead to subtle taste differences. Tech accountability helping Cho ferment distinctly different flavors. Nutty, citrus, chocolatey, fruity. Forget wine, Cho is ushering in a new age of chocolate connoisseurs, not just in San Francisco's specialty stores, but in Macy's, Whole Foods, and Starbucks. Technology-driven change leading to a renaissance in an ancient practice. It's an idea that 10 years ago would have seemed fantastic, and certainly 100 years ago would have been impossible entirely. And yet, it's something natural now. Emily, what's interesting about this isn't really that it's chocolate. It's that it's a small business using the most advanced technologies imaginable to make special stuff that wasn't possible before. It's kind of cool. I don't, I don't know. The chocolate part is pretty interesting to me. I've had the chocolate from this place, and it is delicious. I don't know if it has anything to do with the technology, but it's definitely very good.